So when I was a kid, my mother bought me an art set. And in that art set included a calligraphy dip pen and several different calligraphy inks. And that was my favorite part of the art set. I don't know why. It also included a uh, little booklet to learn calligraphy, so I spent probably more time than I should have as a kid learning how to do calligraphy. I was just enthralled by seeing the ink sink into the paper and the shape of the letter forming with every stroke of the pen. For some reason it's so beautiful to me. And uh, that's something I just learned and kept to myself. Got into rock music, emo phase, the artwork for the uh, emo bands kind of always inspired me to want to try to recreate it drawing and so I did that as a lot a lot as a kid too. Which was fun. Um, my aunt, shout out Aunt Josie, um, Hell encouraged me and my cousins to continue drawing, continue practicing art, and continue keeping our artistic endeavors alive, which I appreciate that so much. Until we made we made a lot of music. Um, I painted a bunch of random things, a lot of album art, a lot of anime faces, a lot of anime eyes, a lot of things that the normal you normally would do learning how to draw. I'm sure many of you that have learned how to draw have done many, many of those things. Trees, leaves, whatever involved. Drawing apples and fruits and cups and stuff to learn volume. But uh, when I was about 16, 17, I moved to a different town where my cousins lived and uh, they introduced me to something that would change my life forever. Two things. Old school hip hop and graffiti. Right. Uh -huh. 